welcome ladies and gentlemen to our final, our third and final video for the night. So I know the last one was, it was shorter than the first one, but still a little over eight minutes. So let's get busy and make this one go quick because we're going to finish off with finding the rate from a graph. This says, the graph shows the distance you walk. Find your rate in feet per second. Now the easiest thing you would think to do would be say, oh, I want feet per second. So I can write that ratio to look like this, feet per second. So if I go down here to time and I go to one second, I'm gonna use red, it's gonna be easier to see on it. And I go up, whoa, and I can go over, and it looks like, it looks like five feet per second. And that would be really awesome. However, I can't trust the accuracy of my eyeballs and this graph. What I can trust is what they're telling me in these two locations. And I recognize that my x is two, x is time in seconds, my y is 11, and that's the distance I walk in feet. So if I do that and I put 11 over two, well that becomes 5.5 over one when I divide by two. So now I know it's 5.5 feet per second that I'm actually walking. It would be awesome if we could just use the graph and take a look at that one, but we're not absolutely perfectly sure. That would be a good estimation, obviously if you were estimating, but since they give us those numbers, they give us those points on the graph, in graphing these feet per minute, we want to make sure we use them. Of course, you can double check it. You can go to 22 over the four, and you can find it, and you divide that by four, you still get 5.5 feet per second. So you're gonna get the same answer. So looking at a graph, it's sometimes it would be really easy just to look right away and see where it is, but unfortunately that was not as accurate as we wanted it to be, so we use the numbers. Let's take a look at something else here, solving a ratio problem. So ladies and gentlemen, it says you wanna mix one half cup of red paint for every one fourth cup of blue paint to make 12 cups of purple paint. How much red paint and blue paint do you use? So I'm gonna make what we call a ratio table here. I'm gonna make a table and I'm gonna put red paint I'm going to put blue paint and I'm going to put purple paint and I know if it tells me that I mix one half cup of red to one fourth cup of blue to make my purple paint. Well if I only do one half cup and one fourth cup, I've only made three fourths cups of purple. I eventually want to get down here to 12 cups. So I want to find out how much red and how much blue. So right now I've got to work my way. And of course we could keep going by one half. So if I put another one half, if I put another one half, I would actually have one. So if I double the one half, I would get one cup of red. If I double the one fourth, I would get one half of blue. And this would give me one and a half cups of purple. Well, I start using my number sense and I say, wow, one and a half. If I double one and a half, that gives me three cups, right? So I can come over here. If I double that, that's two, double that, that's one. And now I understand and say, well, three is compatible with 12. What do I multiply by three to get 12? Well, I multiply by four. So if I come over here and multiply by four, each one of these, I get that it's eight cups of red to four cups of blue, which will give me 12 cups of purple. So eight cups red, four cups blue will give me my 12 cups of purple. And that of course answers the question that we were asked making a table. Now I'm going to tell you right away before we stop, because we're pretty much done with this one, except for our quick write. I'm going to tell you, when we learn how to write and solve proportions, wow, this problem becomes super fast and super easy. But right now, we're just using our ratios and our rates, and we answer the question using a ratio table. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends it. So I, what I want you to do in quick write number three is I, um, 3D, is I then I want you to write all three of these 
A, B, and C, 55 miles per gallon, 35 wins and 42 losses, eight passengers to two cars. Notice I um, used a couple other ways besides the fraction. And then next to each one, I want you to decide which one of these is the ratio, which one is the rate, and which one is the unit rate. There's one of each in there, label them, and ladies and gentlemen, you'll be done for tonight. Real quickly, make sure if you have any questions that you mark them down on unit rates and ratios and rate. Use a question mark, highlight something, whatever it takes so that you can come into class tomorrow and when we're reviewing our notes, you can ask some questions. I guarantee you, if you have a question, so does someone else. So be the big person and raise that hand and don't be afraid. Ladies and gentlemen, double check your notes. Did you use quality in writing your notes? Do you need to watch anything to a greater understanding? Attitude and effort, ladies and gentlemen, are everything. How are you a person of character and a person of intelligence in how you are choosing to take care of these notes? Ladies and gentlemen, it's always a pleasure to spend time with you. I am going to end it here. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow.